Hey guys, Engineer Wannabe here, and uh, today I just wanted to do a really quick review on this uh, Longines Spirit Collection. Uh, this is the 40mm three-hander version. There's also a 42mm version and also a 42mm chronograph version. This, of course, is also the Prestige Collection, so it comes with a leather strap and a leather NATO. Uh, I also have the white dial model over here, uh, but we will take a look at that in a moment. Uh, I'd like to focus on this uh, black dial or blackish gray dial version because this is my favorite uh, uh, model. Uh, just wanted to give a shout out and a thank you to Jem Bijou for providing these pieces. I was really excited to, to take a look at these. I've been excited since they were announced and uh, Jem Bijou actually... Uh, um, made uh, sure I got them as, as soon as they got them in. So a huge, huge, huge thank you to, to Sam at Jimbishu. Thank you, Sam. Um, and if you have seen the unboxing video on this guy, uh, you know that I was uh, pretty excited there too. Uh, now, uh, some of that has died down a bit. I've had this for a week and, uh, you know, the flaws have uh, come out. Um, so I'm no longer looking at this with uh, uh, rose tinted glasses as they say uh, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about the dimensions first and this is a 40 millimeter watch it is around 12 millimeters thick and lug to lug is uh, around 49 millimeters the lug width here is an unfortunate 21 millimeters uh, so that would be one of the negatives that I'd like to talk about the lug width is 21 millimeters uh, the other uh, thing is the fact that these lugs are really long. In uh, my unboxing video, I thought that this uh, this fit on my wrist pretty well, uh, but uh, once I actually put it on my wrist, I realized it is uh, really, really unfortunately very long. But uh, let's talk about why I, I really like this watch. Uh, one of the main things is uh, this dial. It is a beautiful matte black dial uh, and you can tell those indices are applied. So those Arabic numerals are applied and they are very thick. Beautifully, beautifully done. Uh, a lot of applied uh, uh, dial furniture as uh, Tim Massa would say. Um, we have a five applied stars there, applied Longines logo, everything is beautifully done. It looks like a stepped dial and I'm not sure if it's actually stepped, um, but I know for a fact that there is a steel, polished steel ring in there and that uh, ring is broken up by those loom pips. Uh, before I forget, let's talk about the loom. The loom is fantastic. It is very bright and it will, without a doubt, last you all night. Uh, so the loom is uh, phenomenal here. The movement is the Longines L888.4. That's uh, uh, based on the ETA 2892. It has been slowed down and uh, so it gains a 64 hour power reserve it also has a uh, silicone balance spring and so it's uh, anti-magnetic but uh, anyway let's uh, move uh, back into the watch let's take a look at this case uh, there is a beautiful chamfer here and that uh, follows the either side of the watch really nicely done there everything is so sharp um, very sharp actually you can you can feel the edge there, although on the wrist you don't uh, notice a, a sharp edge. I would caution you, uh, if you do have this watch, uh, do not push uh, the, when you're changing straps, do not push this out front in case there is a spring bar that is poking out. This case is so sharp that you will definitely cause a damage from a spring bar uh, coming out. Now, this does have a quick release system. We will talk about that very soon. Uh, right after we look at this bezel. This bezel is really uh, impressive. It's got three 
alternating finishes. You got a brushed uh, side of the bezel here and at the cone it's highly polished and right at the top it's brushed again. Now if you look at it from top down you can see this polished cone conical uh, surface plays really well with this chamfered uh, edge on the side of the watch and it's really breathtaking to look at. This watch is beautiful. I didn't mention how amazingly uh, clear this sapphire crystal is too. It's a dome sapphire crystal. It is shockingly clear. So an amazing job done there by Longines about uh, with uh, the interreflective coating. And take a look at this crown. It's ble bead blasted with uh, the Longines logo uh, polished in relief. Really nice, a very nice texture to feel out too. I uh, want to also mention uh, that the bracelet here has a very interesting uh, set of finishes as well. You have chamfers here on uh, on the mid link and the corner of the uh, edge links. So it looks uh, like it might be a nine link bracelet, but actually it's just the, uh, the amazing finishing that Longines has done to this bracelet. Uh, I was really excited to see that the hands were bead blasted. Uh, so as you can tell, no matter what angle you look at it, they don't disappear. Now, uh, there wasn't really a chance of the hands disappearing since it's full of loom. Um, so even if the metallic parts did disappear, it wouldn't be that big of an issue. Uh, but say in my uh, Omega uh, Speedmaster FYS, I had a terrible time with the disappearing hands. It was uh, really disappointing. I, I really wish that Omega had uh, maybe brushed those hands. Uh, but uh, these bead blasted hands are super legible. Very, uh, very excited about that too. Uh, so let's talk about that uh, that quick release mechanism. It's really easy to do um, and uh, it's pretty robust. You're not going to accidentally pop it open, but with a lot of force, you are able to retract the spring bar or uh, the form of spring bar that's in there and pull this out with a bit of wiggling. Uh, again, uh, be be gentle if uh, if you are doing this uh, to your own watch or to someone else's watch for that matter um, but this prestige edition comes with the uh, this leather strap and this leather nato i really like this leather nato it's a very nice quality leather and you can tell that it's going to develop a, a really nice uh, character with time um, Take a look at that beautifully uh, embossed Longines logo. I really like this uh, this strap. It's a, a thumbnail uh, buckle there, very high quality. Look at the finishing on that. It's uh, really impressive stuff. Um, and this strap too, really uh, comfortable leather, just calfskin, but uh, beautiful uh, contrasting stitching very very appropriate for this kind of watch an aviation inspired watch and I believe that's the same buckle as well very nicely finished buckle so very exciting and it's uh, it's nice to have these because uh, it is a 21 millimeter lug width and if you've seen my review of the Longines Heritage Sector Dial uh, I was really disappointed with those straps but uh, over here these straps are, are far far better than uh, and then those this the spongy uh terrible quality leather straps that came with the Longines sector dial now the prestige collection is actually really quite a bit expensive uh, in canadian dollars the regular 40 millimeter three-hander version uh, comes at 2900 canadian dollars so the prestige collection is 3750 uh, that is a lot of money for uh, a kind of a, a nicer box, maybe with a additional book. Um, but uh, I really, honestly, I don't, I don't think it's worth the additional money. Let's throw this on the wrist. I'll show you my wrist check. I'm wearing my uh, Grand Seiko SBGP015. 
really liking this with this uh, ceramic dial. Not sure what people call it now. First, I thought it was called uh, the Beast. Uh, I've heard a couple of people call it Spider Man because the other one was called uh, the Superman, the high beat version. But I digress. So my wrist is a six and a quarter inches, and you will see that this does not fit my wrist. Uh, I would think that a person with a six and a half inch wrist would be able to enjoy this. Um, and I think that's the upper limit. A person with a six and a half inch wrist with a oval shaped wrist should be able to enjoy it because I don't think I can pull that off. It uh, has long lugs. They do curve down very nicely. Uh, but once I size the bracelet uh, to take a look, it, uh, it was really, really disappointing. So disappointing since uh, I really like this watch. And uh, I was considering purchasing it, but uh, I don't think I can at this point. Um, I know, I know. Within a couple of weeks, I'm going to be lamenting that horrible overhang. So that's it on my six and a quarter inch wrist. That really has been my one week experience with this guy. Uh, really bittersweet. It's an excellent watch. Uh, lots of cool stuff going on here. Um, beautiful bracelet. It's just a bit too big for me. So, I guess uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this uh, this one week review of the Longines Spirit Collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, big thank you again to Jem Bijou for providing these uh, these pieces in for review. Uh, truly, I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys uh, again for watching. I'll talk to you and see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.